Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa if you're new around here and today I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup using makeup hacks. Now I've been like saving these hacks on my Pinterest board for forever and I was like, you know what? This would be like a great video to do. Just like a full face of nothing but makeup hacks that I found on the internet. Go ahead and subscribe for me because as soon as I reach a thousand subscribers, I'm going skydiving for you guys. And you can follow me on Instagram over here at Crafty Novel Geek. Let's go ahead and just pull my hair up and then we can get straight into it. Sometimes drive me crazy. So I'm gonna grab her some bobby pins as well. Just had to go and pin up my hair, but also I had to get this glass of water because the first hack that we were doing is the one where everyone puts their foundation into a cup of water and then puts it on. Now, this one I am very uncertain of because it looks, I don't know, it looks weird. So <laughs> we're gonna try it though. And that's the point of today's video. I'm hoping it like actually blends in well because like, um, I'm worried that it'll be like too watered and diluted down to even like blend in. Now everybody that I did see do this did like a few pumps. I'm just gonna do two. Oh man. And they take their brush and they scoop it up. Oh my gosh. And then they just like put it on. Oh that's cold. Oh my gosh it's dripping on my pants. <laughs> There's water dripping all over my face y'all. Look at this. Anyway, then they take their booty blend, booty, booty blend. <laughs> they take their beauty blender and they blend it all in. A few were like blended in for six minutes and that's a long time. But we're gonna try and follow the hack as accurately as possible. So I'll be doing this for six minutes. My thoughts on this one is that it actually does blend in like the slightest bit smoother. So I actually kind of like this one, um, but I mean, it seems like a lot of effort for something you could probably do with like a damp beauty blender like maybe get your beauty blender more damp than usual and it would have the same effect as getting a glass of water at least that's what i think all right and now it's time for our concealer and for this one i saw it was like a lifted hack so they went right in here kind of went like that and then like that a bit and then they took it a bit from the nose and then the mouth all the way back like that I'm gonna do one side first so you guys can see the difference see if there's this hack is any good I feel like my concealer never blends out the way I want it to it like always looks kind of flaky but this is the lifted side and this is the unlifted side I actually do like it, I think it looks good. All right, so for the contour bit of this video, there's two different hacks I'll be trying because I didn't see any hacks for like the full face of contour because everyone's face shape is different, but there was one that I saw that was viral for like, you know, a double chin and I have a very soft jawline, so I wanna try it. And then you're supposed to take a little bit of concealer again and go underneath and a little bit on. This does not bode well. Look at that, I messed it up. Oh well. Without, with. Honestly, it didn't do much for me. But I'm gonna do the other side with this as well. And then I'm going to be doing the round face contour that I've seen everywhere. Where you go down here and then go like that. blending will help. Okay, and then you have to do contour the forehead a bit. So we'll just do that. And that. Boop. I think the hardest part about contouring 
like your forehead area is making sure it's blended into the hairline properly because if not it looks silly but once it's done it's worth it at least that's been my experience i love contouring my forehead okay and then the last bit is the nose now i saw this hack on tiktok i believe basically you get a brush get a little bit of contour on it and then you take your nose see a button nose and push up you mark right where the, the line is, so. Like that. And then you go ahead and contour the nose normally. We're gonna be doing the brows next. I saw for this hack that you take your eyebrow pencil and then you take it from like your nose and mark where it's supposed to start. So let me just try and do this correctly. So. You mark it there, then you mark it there, and you take it from this corner and mark where the arch is, mark where the end is supposed to be, and then you fill it in. Once they're all filled in, then we go ahead and blend it so they look natural. See, blended, not blended. I love blending my eyebrows. I love doing my eyebrows because I don't have good natural brows. Alrighty, and next up is blush placement. Now, I've been wanting to try this one for a while, but you take your blush and you kind of put it in like a V. I need a smaller one of these. I like a little heart shape right here. And do the same over here. And you do another V on your nose. And a V on your chin, and then a dot on the eyelid, like that. It's cute, isn't it? And then blend. I do think I need a more vibrant blush than the one that I currently have for this particular hack, but it looks cute still. All right, this next hack I saw, I don't think I've seen too many people doing, but I was excited about it. So I'm gonna use some of this palette and then some of this palette as well but you're basically supposed to like draw lines and then blend it all in and that's your eyeshadow. They started out with a dark color. So I'm gonna use this dark brown right here. I'm gonna try and scoot close so you guys can see. And then, man, I'm nervous. Okay, so after you make the line with the dark one, you take a slightly lighter color. I'm gonna take this one here and then you do a line right next to it, so. And then you're supposed to take a sparkly color, so I'm gonna change palettes to this one. I think I'm gonna take this one right here as my sparkle and make another line. I kinda want the sparkles to be strong. I'm going to use the lightest color right here uh, to draw one more final line and then blend it. Look how pretty this brush is, just, it's so sparkly. Blend it all in. That actually turned out really good. I might use that more often. All right, next up is the mascara. And I saw this hack where you take Vaseline, you take an eyelash curler, and you take some of your Vaseline and you put it on like the eyelash curler. And then another important hack for this is that you don't squeeze just once, but three times. Then take some more Vaseline. And then you're supposed to put mascara on over the top of it. Okay, I'm gonna take this highlighter here because I saw this makeup hack as well. And you're gonna take some on your finger and you put it on like the bridge of your nose, like that. And then a bit on the tip of your nose, like that. But also, she took it, of course, here. I thought this was interesting. She put it right underneath her brow, and that's it for highlighter. All right, and now we're moved on to the last bit of the video, which is the lips. Now this part's gonna get a bit complicated, and I don't have the same exact things that they were using, so I'm gonna be using this lip liner, and then I'm going to be using, um, I think, this lip gloss. I might be using a few different things other than those two, but that's the plan for now. So it looks like there's a bit put up here, and a line down the middle, and then you're supposed to take some on the inside a little bit and then they blended theirs out and then we top it with a little bit of 
clear gloss. This isn't exactly clear, but it's the closest thing I had. Or I think I did it wrong. Or no, I did it wrong. I actually kind of like it. I think it ended up looking really good. Yeah, I could do this. I definitely like some hacks more than others. I love the highlight. Love the highlight. The eyeshadow hack I loved, although maybe next time I choose different colors. I would like to try the lip one again, but maybe I can try and look for the right kind of like supplies for that next time. But other than that, this looks really good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe because as soon as I reach a thousand subscribers, I'm going skydiving for you guys. And you can follow me on Instagram over here at Crafty Novel Geek. Remember that self-love is half learned and half earned. So make sure you learn to love yourself more with every day. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.